Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Are you ready for a fun, super adventure today? Hop up into bed. Make sure you're all warm and snuggly and comfy. You got your teddy. The light's just right. Everything's good in your bedroom. You're laying in your favorite position. Life is good. We're ready for a story with Corey. This one is a little bit of a crazy story. For any of you that have cats out there in the world, you might be able to relate to this particular story. It's all about cats. There is one particular cat I want to tell you all about and her name was Heidi. She was called Heidi because she hid all the time. She was quite a meek, mild, shy cat. She wasn't really into people very much. She slept an awful lot. Sometimes she would play certain games. Most of the time, she was a slight, kind of sleepy, shy cat. Heidi was only two years old. She wasn't very old. One day, Heidi's owners brought home a different cat. It was a rescue cat. They'd saved this particular cat from, well, who knows. But they got the cat from the pound. She was ginger. She had a white stripe down the back of her spine and white paws, but the rest of her fur was ginger. She was a very cute cat. She was only tiny. Heidi was not impressed. She watched as her owners opened up the box, opened up the cage, and let out this new ginger cat who happened to pounce. Ta-da! she said as she jumped out of the cage. My name's Cherry. Cherry is my name. As she purred and slowly walked around Heidi who was laying down on her bed not very impressed by the whole thing. You can call me Cherry because my name's Cherry. What do you do around here? It looks awfully fun. It's very big. You've got lots of balls. You've got mice. You've got toys. You've got all sorts of stuff. This is a cool place to live. And she talked and talked and talked. And Heidi just kind of wiped one paw over here and was like, oh, what is this thing? This is going to be a very annoying cat. It came to bedtime that night and the owners went off to bed. Heidi was very happily sleeping in her usual place on her rug that was very furry and fluffy and soft. She liked it there. Cherry came over and said, let's go to cat club. I've heard there's cat club in this neighborhood. Let's go to cat club. 
Heidi said. "I don't even go outside. I've never been outside. They always do leave a window open in the kitchen, just slightly, but I prefer not to go outside." Cherry was like, "You don't go outside." Club is the coolest club. It's where all the cats hang out. Everyone in this area, who is who, goes to this particular club. Well, you will be going on your own," said Heidi, "because I don't participate in things like that. I'm far too shy. I'm far too mature. And I like it where it's quiet. Thanks very much." Come on," she said. "Let's do it. Do it for me. You can do it for me as a welcome present, just this one time. It's only down the street. You, all you have to do is go down a hill, and and up a hill, and and around the corner. And I heard it's right there. And there's hundreds of cats, and they do lots of fun things. They play games. They do like." Races. They do、uh, bobbing for the fish, like we bob for the apple. They bob for the fish. We do. They. It. it oh. It, it, we. We gotta go. We gotta go. She was so excited. They're asleep upstairs. They'll never know that we went out of the house. Heidi said, "Cherry, you need to be quiet. This is my sleep time." And I'm not a very nice cat if I don't get my sleep. Come on, she said. Come on, let's do it. Come on, you only live once. We can do it. Cherry said. Heidi said. Sorry. If it's going to make you quiet, then maybe just this once we'll go. And I will deal with the cat club just for you. But after that, no more sneaking out at night. You have to be a good cat, otherwise they'll send you back. Okay! Yay! 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 Said Cherry. Yay! I'm so excited. I hear they do some really, really, really cool stuff. Okay, she said. Let's go. So they climbed out of the window in the kitchen. They traveled down the street together. It was very unusual and very strange experience already for Heidi. She didn't like getting her paws dirty very much. She had white paws too, but Heidi was grey. She was grey and striped, and she had the most perfect eyes. They were green. She very slowly and carefully walked. Down the first hill that they had to go to to get to Cat Club, and then they had to climb up a hill to get to Cat Club, and then go around a corner. They were about a minute away from Cat Club, and Cherry was beside herself. Oh my gosh! I'm so excited! There is so many cats I want to meet. There is lots of cool cats here. I know. Because I've heard, I heard in the pound that it was like the best place to go at the weekends. You can meet lots of different cats, and they all have different stories and different backgrounds, and they play such fun games. I heard that if they even do this race, which is like chase the mouse, and and whoever wins the race actually gets to eat a very, very, very cool treat. Okay, okay, calm down," said Heidi. "We're almost there. We're almost there. Just calm yourself down. I'm gonna win that race. I'm gonna win it. I'm gonna win the chase the mouse," she said. "You watch me." Heidi was learning that Cherry was a very outgoing, adventurous kind of little cat. It was annoying. She was loud. She talked way too much, and she was very brave, which was extra annoying for Heidi, as Heidi was very shy and not brave, not brave at all. But she just kept taking deep breaths. Oh, 
this will all be over soon, she kept saying to herself, and never again will I have to do something crazy like this. They got to the club. It was an underground club. Cat Club was down an alley, and it had a staircase at the end of the alley. And at the end of the alley, when you went down the staircase, it opened up to this secret cat club. It was popping. It was popping in there. Somehow they got music playing. They had like this spinning ball, which made like a disco light. All the cats were just chilling and hanging. Some of them were playing together. Some of them were even dancing. Don't know how they did that, but they were dancing on their back paws and like swinging their front paws up in the air. It was so cool, thought Cherry. Heidi was not impressed. She walked very slowly through the crowds and crowds of cats, following Cherry, who was practically jumping, rushing, bursting in the air, flying all over the place, trying to meet different cats, trying to do different things, until she found the mouse chase. The mouse chase was set up in a way where it was a long run, an open run, and there were four or five different lanes on the run. That means four or five different cats could all race at the same time. And they all took it in turns. And each time, who, whichever cat won a race got to race the next line with the other winners. You're never going to believe what happened. Cherry kept winning. She was really good at mouse chase. It was super cool. Even Heidi was a little bit excited watching her. She was very impressed. This cat could chase the mouse. She could, she was so fast. She just seemed to like zoom across the lanes and always pounce on the mouse at the end of the lanes before anybody else got to the mouse, which was not a real mouse, by the way, I should tell you. It was just a fake mouse. It was a stuffed mouse. So don't worry about the mouse. The mouse was fine. But it came down to the final four winners. Cherry was one of those. What? You know what, Heidi? We're gonna win! We're gonna win the prize! I know it! I can feel it in my paws! I can feel it in my fur! I can feel it in my whiskers! We're gonna win, she said! Aren't you excited? Heidi actually was just a little bit excited. She was wondering what they were gonna win. I mean, it could have been anything. Who knows? But... Cherry... She was set. She was in the position to start the race. She was ready to go. On your marks, get set, go! She sped across the lanes, chasing faster, 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 chasing the little mouse. Faster, 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 faster until all of a sudden, pounce! She pounced on it. She got it. She rolled on her back. She jumped in the air with the mouse. I won! I won! I did it! Yay for Cherry! Yay for the winner! It was nuts. Everybody was going nuts. It was like the whole cat club was on something weird. They were all kind of crazy. This is what Heidi thought. But she was actually inside, very deep, deep inside, a little bit happy about the fact that they had won a present. Red or Cherry, whatever you want to call her, she liked both names, went to collect the gift. You won't believe what they won. It's catnip! Yay! said Cherry. Yay! Catnip! I've heard so much cool stuff about catnip and I've never had catnip. I've never had anybody.
body buy me catnip? Catnip! Yay! Heidi was like, what the heck is catnip? Well, Cherry said, I don't quite know, but I think we smell it or we eat it. I don't know. But everybody in Cat Club loves it. Look at them. They're all having a crazy wild time. Dancing, racing, bobbing for fish. Let's do the catnip. Heidi said, whoa, wait a minute. Is this going to be something that's dangerous? I don't do dangerous, she said. Is it, is it bad for us? Is it something that makes us sick? Because I don't do sick. What if it's like some crazy drug? I don't do drugs, said Heidi. No, silly. It's, it's not bad for us. It's good for us. We're cats. We can do catnip. Somehow, after 10 minutes, Heidi was talked into having a little bit of catnip. They opened the jar. They had some of the catnip. Didn't feel anything at first, Heidi thought. Hmm. Don't know what everybody's talking about. Cherry was as crazy as ever, but just a little bit crazier. She was kind of bouncing off the walls, to be honest. She was jumping all over the place. She was still very excited about winning the race, but she was extra, extra excited, like a little bit crazy excited. Heidi said, it's time to go home. We've had the fun that we need to have. Let's go home. And they started to walk home. They got to the top of the first hill and they were two ginormous, like, oak leaves that had fallen off one of the trees. Cherry said, let's surf. Let's surf down the hill on these oak trees. Heidi was actually feeling very brave. Let's do it, she said. Sounds like fun to me. So they both perched just right on top of these big giant oat leaves and started to slide down the hill. But as they slid down the hill, you won't believe what happened. They were flying, man. Two flying cats. Crazy. Whoa, said Heidi. This is cool. They're like magical carpets. Yay, said Cherry. I've always wanted to fly. Yay, we're flying. Yay. They were flying. Can you believe it? They were flying. They were flying over the hills. They were flying over the trees. They were bobbing in and out down alleyways. They stopped and made a pit stop because they were hungry. And they dug in a big outside bin and found some very nice salmon. They had so much fun. They were flying all over. All over the houses. They could see their house down below. They were flying everywhere on oak leaves. Crazy or what? They were having so much fun that time just seemed to fly by. It flew by to the point where the sun started to come up. We gotta go home, said Heidi. Quick, before our owners wake up, let's go home. Let's fly our way home. Yes! I'm hungry. I want breakfast. Yes, said Cherry. Just a normal crazy self. Cherry and Heidi's owners came downstairs to find them sleeping together on Heidi's favorite rug that was very fluffy. They were rattling around in the kitchen, doing their thing, and all of a sudden, Heidi heard 
a noise that said, "It's breakfast time." She heard a rattle, which sounded like cat food. "It's breakfast time. Come on, kitties, come and get your breakfast." She opened her eyes. She looked around. She looked over at the kitchen window, which was closed, which was very strange because she thought that they'd actually been out through the window. But you know what? They hadn't been anywhere. Heidi was dreaming, and next to her. Was her new little friend Cherry, who she decided, after last night's dream, that she actually liked very, very much. Cherry, being so adventurous and brave, might make me, who's Heidi the Hider, actually come out of my shell a little bit. She thought. We might balance each other out. I might calm Cherry down, and she. Might make me more adventurous. We might actually make a really good team. Both of them got up and went and had their breakfast. They both got full tummies. They played for a little while together, and then, just like most cats, decided that they needed to go to sleep again. Time for sleep. It's time for you to sleep. Time to rest. Your little paws, just like Heidi and Cherry. Heidi likes to roll over on her back. With all her four paws up in the air when she sleeps, do you like it like that? Let's see. Close your eyes if they're not closed already. Time for sleepy time. Maybe you'll dream about some crazy cat club where cats are dancing, waving their arms up in the air, and having races. Bobbing for goldfish like we bob for apples. Sounds like a fun place. Actually, I think Heidi probably has a very good imagination, just like you. So start by relaxing all of your body, taking a nice deep breath if you need to. Wiggle your toes and focus on your feet. Time to relax those little paws. Your legs. Your hips. Everything starts to get sleepy. Your tummy and your back get very heavy and comfy and relaxed. Let yourself start to drift off into sleep. Let your imagination take you on a cool journey, just like Heidi. You could be hanging out in a cat club with all of your friends. Imagine all of your friends doing races, 
chasing mice. That would be funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> Let your chest and your shoulders relax. Let the back of your head and your neck relax. All the way up to the top of your head so your whole body is comfy and relaxed. Drifting deeper and deeper into sleep. Your entire body is very, very heavy and relaxed. Time for sleep. Until tomorrow, when you can have a whole other story with Cory. Tonight is dreaming all about cats. A world of cats. All different types of cats. Big cats, small cats, kittens. You could be out in the middle of a field playing and running with hundreds of cute little cats. All your friends. That would be kind of cool. I'm kind of sleepy. <gasps> I think I might go to sleep and dream all about Cat City and Cat Club. <laughs> night, night, my little friends. <laughs> <laughs>